Hey everybody, Dark Young Link here, and today I'm doing a top 10 video for my friend the Young Link Society's Pokemon Month. Have you ever gone to a place in a video game and thought it looked like a great place to live for one reason or another? Well, Pokemon has a lot of amazing cities and towns, and I'm going to be counting down my top 10 places I'd want to live in the Pokemon world. That means every region from Kanto to Alola, and even in the spin-off games. But before we continue, I'm going to lay down a few rules. First and foremost, I'm going to treat it as if I live a normal life there, meaning that I have little to no interaction with the gym leader or any famous people. So if I say I'd live in Cerulean City, it can't just be to hang out with Misty. Second, because it's like living in an actual city or something like that, I'm not basing it off the music. Finally, I can have more than one place per region. Otherwise, this wouldn't even be a top 10. And with that, let's move on to the countdown. Number 10. Starting off the list, I would choose Fortree City in Hoenn. It has a really nice concept of living in tree houses and walking along wooden bridges to get from house to house, which sounds like it would be awesome. However, the reason it's so low on the list is that bug Pokemon could easily get into your house and I'm not a fan of bugs. I'd probably have a heart attack if an Ariados snuck in while I was sleeping. Number 9. This next place is a little basic, which is why it's only number 9, but that place is Pallet Town in Kanto. I swear it's not for nostalgia or anything like that. It's because if I were to honestly live anywhere, it would be in a small place with very few people because I have a hard time around a ton of people. However, even I know living in a town with less than 10 people would get really boring really fast, which is why it's so low on the list. Number 8. What's better than living in a city? Living in a city that also has an amusement park. That's why my number 8 pick is Nimbasa City in Unova. However, the amusement park is a bit small, but it does have a ferris wheel, so that's pretty cool. It also has a Pikachu bounce house, which I may be too big for, but darn it, I'm willing to try it anyway. Plus, it has a place for sports, which I'm not a big sports fan, but I'd probably go in and play some tennis every so often. I've never played tennis before, but I'd be willing to try. Number 7. I don't know about you, but I'm an indoorsy kind of person. Don't get me wrong, I like going outside and doing outdoor things, but I'd still rather be inside. That's why my next pick is Mauville City in Hoenn, specifically from Alpha Sapphire and Omega Ruby. In the original Ruby Sapphire games, it was small and it was okay, but it got a huge overhaul in the remakes. It was like having a big city inside of a building, so you could live in an upstairs apartment and when you need to leave you can basically stay inside and do all your shopping. It's like never leaving your giant house. Number 6. Connolly's City in Sinnoh may be small, but it does have one big thing I love. Books. When I'm not playing video games or watching videos, I'm usually reading a book. That's why I would love to live in Connolly's City, if not only to go to the library. It's not that big, but I could spend a lot of my time there. Plus, a lot of books are about old Pokemon legends, and I am a man who loves mythology, so learning Pokemon mythology would be even cooler. However, it's in the bottom part of the list because it only has the library, and like I said, it's not very big. Number 5. At the halfway point, we have Olivine City and Johto, and that's for one major reason. The lighthouse. I've never actually seen a real lighthouse before, and I think it'd be so amazing to live near one, especially since every day you could go to the top and just look out at the ocean. I know in the game you can't see much, but just imagine going to the top and looking out at the giant sea. Number 4. In at number 4, we have another small location, but again, there's a big reason. This time it's Lava Ridge Town in Hoenn. Why? Two words. Hot springs. Actually, three words. Free hot springs. That's right. You can just go in for free and relax in the hot springs. It's also at the base of a volcano, and the hot springs is heated by said volcano. I've never been to an actual hot spring before, but if it's anything like a hot tub, I could just sit in there for hours. Number 3. Speaking of small towns, I seem to be very drawn to them. The next place is also small, but it's much bigger than both Pallet Town and Lava Ridge Town. It's a little known place called Agate Village in Or. For those who don't know, Or is the region where Pokemon Coliseum and Pokemon XD Gale of Darkness took place. Agate Village is home to many elderly people, but that's kind of what makes it great. It means that there won't be a lot of hustle and bustle and the people are really nice. Plus the grass is extremely green and not to mention the beautiful waterfall. Number 2. I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I'm having a very hard time choosing the last two on this list. However, I think for number 2 I'm gonna go with Hauli City in Alola. Which, I hope I'm saying that right. Howly? It's fine. Anyway, it's got everything, like a beach, a salon, a mall, a marina. 
not that marina. Okay, I just wanted to make that joke. A lot of places in Alola have marinas. Anyway, it's just a big beautiful city on a beautiful island. It's the perfect vacation spot, but just living there will feel like a 24-7 vacation. However, there's still one more place that I'd rather live. Number 1. Finally, my last pick for the place I'd want to live in the Pokemon world. Earlier I had Mauville City as a place I'd love to live, but it would be a crime if I left out the place it was based on. That's right, my final pick is Lumio City in Kalos. I know I said Hauli City has everything you'd ever want, but Lumio City has even more. It has a museum, it has tons of shops all ranging from clothing to Pokeballs to evolutionary stones. Not only that, but it has more restaurants and cafes than you can shake a stick at. You could eat at a new restaurant every day and it would take you almost a month before you had to go to the same place twice. There's also a bunch of plazas to hang out and a bunch of places to battle and meet new people and it's just so big and I could go on and on about all the things you could do there, but I think you get my point. From this video, I learned as much as I would love to live in a small location with a few people, I'm just drawn to bigger cities. Anyway, thank you all so much for watching. If you want more Pokemon content, I'm currently playing through Pokemon Heart Gold and I also have a full playthrough of Pokemon Fire Red, both which you can click here. Also, check out my friend the Young Link Society. After all, he's the reason Pokemon Month exists, and the whole reason I did this video. You can check out his video over here. Also in the comments below, let me know where you guys would like to live in the Pokemon world. Until next time, I've been Dark Young Link, and I'll see you guys in whatever I do next. Bye!